Towards the end of 2023, I started learning to speedrun Skyward Sword HD, but after only a few runs, I began to notice something. It's puzzle jingles, all the way down. I'm a jingle enjoyer. In fact, I even recorded a cover of this jingle a few years ago. But Skyward Sword's usage struck me as over the top. I've speedrun a few Zelda games and I'm familiar with runs of several more, and though all of the games use the jingle usually when a puzzle is solved or a chest spawns, I had never noticed it being so obtrusive before. Why? One difference I quickly picked up on is that Skyward Sword treats puzzle jingles differently from how the other 3D Zelda games do. In Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, puzzle jingles play at checkpoints and shrines without interrupting the gameplay at all. Ocarina of Time sometimes handles jingles that same way, but other times plays a jingle while the action of a cutscene is happening. Wind Waker also plays jingles while the action of a cutscene is happening, usually at the beginning of the cutscene. Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess also tie jingles to cutscenes, but the jingles begin when the player regains control of Link, rather than during the cutscenes, with only two exceptions I know of in Twilight Princess. In summary, puzzle jingles in all these games nearly exclusively occur either while the player has control of Link, or while something is happening visually during a cutscene. And then there's Skyward Sword. Yes, in Skyward Sword, the jingle plays after things have stopped happening in the cutscene, but before the game gives control back to the player. When a puzzle jingle plays in Skyward Sword, the entire focus of the game is that jingle. There exists nothing but the jingle. Each jingle only takes a second and a half, but some parts of the run feel like they're mostly jingle. I began to wonder whether Skyward Sword also has more puzzle jingles than the other 3D Zeldas, so I did what I'm sure many reasonable people before me have done, and counted all of them. The answer? Yes. Yes it does. In one run of Skyward Sword HD Any% the puzzle jingle plays 126 times. The jingle is most prevalent in dungeons, with the Linnaeus mining facility being home to a total of 20 of these jingles all on its own. The densest set of jingles I noticed while counting was this triple header in Linnaeus Desert. My favorite jingle in the run by far is this one, which plays when the player solves the complex puzzle of pressing A to open this door. I should mention that of these 126 jingles, 6 break from Skyward Sword's norm and give control back to the player at the beginning of the jingle rather than at the end, and for some reason, 5 of these 6 exceptions are in the Linear Mining facility. At first glance, 126 seems like a lot of jingles. But Skyward Sword HD Any% percent is kind of a long category, so is it really all that many? Using the world record time of 3 hours, 57 minutes, and 59 seconds as a baseline yields a rate of 31.8 jingles per hour, on average. This rate is over double the second highest Any% percent jingle rate, Twilight Princess's 14.6 per hour, and incomparably higher than Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask Any% percent rates of 0 per hour. This answered my initial question. The puzzle jingles in Skyward Sword are so noticeable because they usually play without any other action going on, and are plentiful. But I was still curious about the second part. Why does Skyward Sword HD Any% percent have so many more puzzle jingles than these other Any% percent speedruns? Looking at these stats, my first observation was, wow, that's a lot of puzzle jingles. My second observation was, damn, I counted all of these puzzle jingles. But my third observation was that with the exception of the open world games, not only did total puzzle jingle count increase with run length, but puzzle jingle rate also increased with run length. This isn't necessarily meaningful across different games, since each game may have a different total number of puzzle jingles that can possibly play. But it is meaningful when comparing Skyward Sword SD Any% percent to Skyward Sword HD Any% percent. SD's Any% percent speedrun is dominated by the back in time glitch with runners spending a lot of time playing on the title screen and setting flags in memory to skip huge chunks of the game. Skyward Sword HD is basically the same underlying game aside from controls and frame rate, but with the key difference that there's no way to execute back in time. HD Any% percent isn't a glitchless run, but SD Any% percent can reasonably be thought of as an unrestricted version of HD Any% percent. 
The fact that SD any percent's puzzle jingle rate is lower than HD any percent's implies that the sections of the game that SD can skip with back in time are sections with above average concentrations of puzzle jingles. I was pretty sure from experience that puzzle jingles are most prevalent in dungeons, and I knew it was true for Skyward Sword HD any percent, but to check more generally, I counted jingles in glitchless runs of each of the other games. Wind Waker is the only one that doesn't have the majority of its puzzle jingles in dungeons, which is largely due to a puzzle jingle playing for every one of the 27 floors of Savage Labyrinth on which the player must clear enemies. Indeed, Skyward Sword SD any percent spends quite a bit less time in dungeons than HD any percent. Not only does SD visit a mere third of the dungeons HD does, it also skips significant chunks of the two dungeons it does visit, not even acquiring the dungeon items which come in chests that play puzzle jingles. It seemed likely to me that this trend would also apply to the other non-open world 3D Zeldas. They all require a casual player to beat dungeons to progress to the end of the game, so glitches that save time should often involve skipping parts of dungeons or entire dungeons. Does puzzle jingle rate then correlate negatively with overall brokenness in a Zelda speedrun? This graph shows the puzzle jingle rate for three speedrun category groups, unrestricted, restricted glitched, and glitchless. You can see a list of which categories I chose for each game below the graph. As expected, the puzzle jingle rate increases with decreasing glitchiness for all five games, though with a wide range of slopes. Since glitchiness is a very loose descriptor, I don't think it's worth reading too far into exactly how much the puzzle jingle rate changes from one glitchiness level to the next, though it is of course justifiable for each game individually, looking at where all the jingles take place. But this graph does answer my question. Skyward Sword HD any percent has so many puzzle jingles compared to the other any percents because it's relatively light on glitches, and because the game apparently has a lot of puzzle jingles in it to begin with. Even comparing Skyward Sword HD any percent to fully glitchless categories of the other non-open world 3D Zeldas, it features about three and a half more puzzle jingles per hour than the category with the second highest rate, Wind Waker glitchless any percent. Wind Waker glitchless any percent was the only category I counted that had a total puzzle jingle count higher than Skyward Sword HD any percent, though if there were a Skyward Sword HD glitchless category, it's possible that the reintroduction of Tad Tones, Boko Base, and Skykeep would make up the difference. Unfortunately, because such a category doesn't exist, I can't give an exact count of how many jingles it would include because I don't know exactly what the rule set would ban and allow. On a related note, I was able to find one dungeon in all five of these games with more total puzzle jingles than Skyward Sword's Linnate Remining Facility, and that is Wind Waker's Earth Temple, coming in at a staggering 24 puzzle jingles in a glitchless run. Ocarina of Time Glitchless Any% percent has a good showing of 12 jingles across its two Spirit Temple trips. Twilight Princess reaches 11 jingles in City in the Sky in Glitchless, a big increase from the 6 jingles in that same dungeon in Unrestricted Any%. Percent and Majora's Mask Glitchless Any% percent has a three-way tie with seven jingles in each of Woodfall Temple, Great Bay Temple, and Stone Tower Temple, leaving Snowhead Temple in the dust with a mere three jingles. I'll leave the stats there, but before I wrap up, I want to mention that upon hearing I was counting puzzle jingles, a few people have brought up the idea of a low puzzle jingle speedrun, where the goal would be to beat a game while encountering as few puzzle jingles as possible, similarly to how a low percent speedrun beats a game with as few items as possible. I think this idea has the potential to be interesting, but I can also say for sure that it wouldn't be all that unique for Twilight Princess, which is the game I'm most familiar with as a speed game. Without really routing or testing, I at least know that cutting out puzzle jingles would involve a gate clip and lake bed, Wolf of Super Jump to access Snow Peak early, descending to Snow Peak Ruins without snowboarding, Rupee sliding through the Arbiter's Grounds Poe Gate, and ideally skipping the small key in City in the Sky without Jump Strike. Much like low percent, the route would likely be pretty similar to any percent, since the jingle skips I just mentioned all simply replace easier or faster methods of achieving the same short-term goals. But if someone were to find a low jingle speedrun route to be unique in any of these games, I'd certainly be interested in watching a run. What might be more interesting to route, at least for Twilight Princess, is a high puzzle jingle rate speedrun, where the goal would be to reach the highest possible puzzle jingle rate over the entire run. This would involve balancing how many unnecessary puzzles to incorporate into the route based on how long each one takes, which would take some thought. I might actually try that sometime. Alright, that's all I have to say about puzzle jingles. Aren't you glad you asked? 
To conclude this learning experience and help convey what it was like to prepare for this video, I will now present a mashup of every single puzzle jingle in a Skyward Sword HD any percent speedrun, back to back. Listen, if you dare. Hey! <laughs> 